Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the video. And here today I'm going to show you how to set up your NTFS uh, to work with Multiman so you could transfer some files. Um, there's been some stuff out there on how to do this, but some of it is outdated and um, we are going to show you how to do is how to do this the right way. We are going to use a, or create a USB.cfg file, which you've probably already seen before, but we're going to show you how to set this up the right way. Stay tuned because at the end of the video, I'm also going to show you some tests that I did against the NTFS transferring files from the, from the drive to the USB compared to uh, transferring them from uh, my PC to the PS3 via FTP. I recorded some times, and I'm going to show you those times. You might be surprised at what I got. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, first, a few provisions. Let's get them out of the way. You need to obviously have a modded PS3. We're going to use a PC uh, as well because we need to get some information out of the NTFS drive, or from the NTFS drive, actually. So you're going to need a PC for that. I'm on Windows 7, so you can follow along with Windows 8, Windows 10. It's probably a way to do this on Mac as well. Uh, just follow along and uh, see hopefully you'll be able to uh, get the info you need out uh, the other thing we are going to need is a notepad type program anyone will do even the built-in one uh, that uh, that comes with the PC will work just fine and that's actually what we're going to use one big deal maybe a big deal is that you can't transfer files um, in multi-man from the PC to NTFS as a matter of fact this is only one directional, meaning that you can only transfer files from your USB NTFS into the PS3. Um, so it only goes in that direction, which let's face it, that's what most people use it for anyway. So keep in mind that this will not work if you want to copy things from your, uh, from your PS3 to NTSF, uh, NTFS via Multiman. If you want to do stuff like that, you can still use like Irisman or mana guns, one of those type of game managers that find NTFS files right out of the box without you having to create files or anything. Um, and lastly is that NTFS is not native to PS3. So not all NTFS drives are guaranteed to work with the PS3. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's get started. I have my NTFS hooked up and um, it's right here. It's the Toshiba Cavio and let's go to properties this might be a little bit hard to see what's going on with my pc all right and here we go it says ntfs right there here are the files that are there i'm going to highlight them probably a little bit hard to see but i'm going to show you them later on so you can see this is the exact same um drive that we're going to hook up to the uh, ps all right so now that it's been hooked up you need to get to your device manager screen uh, you can type here in the search bar device manager or just type in device and the device manager tab will come up you could click on it you can right click here on the uh, my computer icon or the computer icon then click on manage and that will um, bring you here and then you can click on device manager right there so there's a few ways to get to it once you're here we're gonna go into disk drives all right and make it show we're gonna do the little drop down th deal here make it show all your connected uh, USB devices. Uh, on yours, it might say USB drives or something that's pretty much similar. So just find your drive, highlight it, right click on it, and then go to properties. Then you're gonna click on the details tab, and you're gonna come here to this drop down window, and you're gonna look for the word parent right there. Parent as in like your mom and dad, like this, parent. <laughs> Had to do it because, you know, some people just don't understand. All right, so um, when you do that, you should get a series of letters, numbers, and all bunch of stuff right here. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and right-click on this and hit Copy. Now let's open up a new uh, uh, file in that Notepad-type program that you're using. And here, as you can see, I'm just using regular Notepad. Now we're going to paste this number right there, okay? Now what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to go here and we're going to type zero and then small x and you're going to type these four characters right after the x so these four now these four characters could be letters they could be numbers whatever these four are they come between the underscore and the ampersand so these four right there are going to go right here 
so 0, 4, 80. Then you're going to do semicolon, which is the two dots, right? You're going to type 0, x, and by the way, when I say 0, I'm talking about the number 0, not the letter O. <laughs> There's a difference. So you're going to type 0, x again, and then you're going to put these four digits here, or four characters that are here, right after the x. Again, those could be letters or numbers. So whatever those four are, type them. Then another semicolon and the number one. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete all of this stuff. Okay. And then we're going to delete this, these spaces. So this moves up to the top like that. And then we're going to go ahead and save this to the desktop. Now I already have one here. Let me go ahead and delete it because I want to see what you guys, I want to show you what you guys, or you guys what it looks like. All right. So we're going to hit file. We're going to do save as. We're going to save it as a text file. If you're using Notepad++, it may let you just save this as a .cfg right off the bat. So, uh, but we're going to save it here in Notepad as a text file. You're going to type USB .cfg, all caps, and then hit save. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and close it out. We can close out of this window too. All right. So it goes out of that, and here's the file. Now you notice it has a .txt after it, right? Let me go ahead and open it. All right, there, there it is. So now we're going to rename it, and we're going to drop the .txt. So delete the .txt. Now it should say USB.cfg, all caps. Hit yes here, and that's it. Now this file is going to go into your multi-man folder. Uh, you can FTP it or you can transfer it via USB, however you like. Uh, when we go here into the multi-man folder, all right, the multi-man folder is this one. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, it's bless80608. And then you're going to go into the USR DIR folder, and that's where you're going to put it. As you can see, mine is already right here. Right, you can see it says USB.cfg. And that's where you're going to put it, and that's it. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and restart Multiman. You don't need to restart your PS3. You can come here to the first column and just hit Restart. Now, mine says Restart MMCM because it's in Cobra mode. Yours will say Restart Multiman. Restart it. Once you restart it, go ahead and uh, plug in your NTFS drive once you're back at Multiman. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that now on um, my system. So let me do that real quick. All right, so now I've plugged it in, and we're going to go ahead and go back into the file manager. And we can come down here, All right? And uh, we're going to go down to PFS driver and just press X. And it's going to go ahead and do a little uh, like soft reboot type deal. Now when you go into the PS3 root, you'll see it says PVD underscore USB. And when you go into it, there we go. And you can see these are all the same files that I have showed you earlier at the start of the video. Now one of the things that I did find interesting is I made some comparisons uh, real quick here. I've never really done this. And I used my FTP versus my NTFS drive. I transferred the exact same file. So here this green file is the GTA file. The blue one is the package file. Here is the green one down here is the GTA. And then the blue is the package file. Up here, these two were transferred one at a time, not together, but one by one um, uh, to the PS3 from my PC. And it took, uh, this was a two gig file, and it took three minutes and six seconds to transfer it from my PC to the PS3 at a rate of 12 to 12.6 megabytes a second. Had this file been 10 gigs large, it would have taken 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, I transferred a 1.5 gig package file. That took 2 minutes and 17 seconds via FTP. So since I multiplied this number times 5, I multiplied this times 5, and the result would have been, if this was a 7.5 gig drive, it would have taken 11 minutes and 25 seconds to transfer via FTP. But when you look at NTFS, they are significantly, uh, significantly faster. Um, not by a whole lot, but by a good chunk. Here, the same exact GTA file from the NTFS USB to the PS3 took 2 minutes and 24 seconds compared to 3 minutes and 6 seconds up here. Had it been a 10 gig file, I multiply these numbers times 5, it would have taken 12 minutes. 
And here, that same 10 gig file would have taken 1530. So it would have been three and a half minutes faster. Um, the package file from the NTFS to the PS3 took only one minute and 40 seconds compared to here where it took two minutes and 17 seconds. Again, multiplying these numbers times five, had this, it would have uh, given me the, a file that would have been 7.5 gigs large, and that would have taken eight minutes and 20 seconds. But up here, the same file via FTP would have taken 11.25. So this is a whole three minutes faster transferring using the USB NTFS. Now, of course, this lies with how fast is your FTP. So that's the big difference. And how fast is your NTFS drive? as well. So yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. I thought it'd be a lot closer than that, and it's not. There's a big difference uh, right here, a 10 gig file. There's a three and a half minute difference, at least from my setup, the way it is. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you on the next one.